Should is past tense, and it comes with a little bit of that negative criticism. Wanting, desiring is future tense, and it's filled with love, it's filled with hope, and it's filled with opportunity. Hello everyone, my name is Adam Cross, and I am a licensed marriage and family therapist and also a youth minister in Southern California. And today I want to talk about wanting versus shoulding. Like, I should do this, I should do that. In the field of psychology, there is kind of a, a funny phrase that people use, and they say, you should stop shoulding on yourself and stop telling yourself that I should do that. I should do this, right? Um, in a conversation with other people, I don't know if you've ever had that experience, if someone's come up to you and been like, you know what you should do? It's kind of a turnoff. It's like, oh, you're about to tell me how to live my life. <laughs> it's usually not that helpful and can kind of even build some resentment. Like, ugh, most of the time, not gonna be helpful. But how often do we do that with ourselves? Oh, I should do this. Oh, I should have done that. Oh, I, I should do these things. What does that communicate to ourselves? It communicates, number one, that we're, we're kind of failing. Like, oh, we, we didn't do what we were supposed to be doing and we, we're kind of a screw up. Implicitly, we're telling ourselves, hey, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And that might be absolutely true. I think there's a lot of us and a lot of things that maybe we should be doing, should, that we're not doing. But the question is, that I want to come back to, is if we know that God has freely poured out his love in our lives, right? That even in the face of our sin, in the face of those shoulds, in the face of those inadequacies, God in Christ still said, you are worth it, to pour out his love. Those shoulds melt away. Like, think about it. I should do those things according to who? Why? Well, because I want to get to heaven, because I want God to love him, because I want, okay. But if we have this love of God, right? If we have God's peace and love just waiting to come into our lives, should we do these things? Yeah. But I think a better question is, do we want to do those things? Do we desire to do those things? God doesn't love us more when we help the homeless. God doesn't love us less when we watch Netflix on our couch or are lazy or whatever it is. God's love is still there for us. God is longing to love us. The question is, do we desire that love? Do we want that love? Or we have faith again in who Christ says he is and in turn what that means about who we are. And that changes our works that changes not like I should do these things right because then God will love me because then I'll be a good person it's like no I'm already loved I'm already made in his image and likeness now why do I want to do these things for the person who has loved me right for the person who has given his life for me I want to live my life for him now, some of you may be thinking like, okay, but how do you get to that understanding of the foundation of the gospel? And I think that's a bigger question maybe. Um, is coming from a place of should to want is understanding the gospel, understanding Christ and our faith and doing our own work in that, right? Processing these maybe core beliefs, positive and negative, things we believe about ourselves, our life, the world, that maybe we're not even aware are kind of guiding our behaviors and our choices. If we think that we're only as good as what we can accomplish, well then we're probably gonna do things that reflect that in life. But if we do believe that God loves us, that God has made us in his image and likeness, God has made us good, then we're, maybe we're not gonna try to earn God's love so much as we're gonna live out of a place of love for the bridegroom as his bride, that we're going to act as a, out of a place of love for the one who loves us, but for the one that we are striving to love as well, because we want to. 
Should is about checking off those boxes. Should is about saying, you know what? You're not there yet. You're not enough. Wanting is, I want to love Christ in a better way. Semantics, yeah. But when it comes down to it, saying, ah, I should have gone to the gym. Does that change anything? Anything. Can you go back and change one second of the past by saying, I should have gone to the gym. Shouldn't have eaten that donut. Oh, I should have prayed yesterday. Versus, I want to go to the gym tomorrow. I want to enter into a loving conversation with my Heavenly Father. Um, I want to build better relationships. I want to grow in community in our church. I want to receive the sacraments. Should is past tense. And it comes with a little bit of that negative criticism. Wanting, desiring is future tense. And it's filled with love, it's filled with hope, and it's filled with opportunity. So the challenge is don't should on yourself. Take those shoulds and give them to God and say, this isn't helpful. Come Holy Spirit, help me in my thoughts. Help me to want, help me to desire to live a better life, to live for you, who has already poured out his love into our lives in so many ways, especially the sacraments. Wanting versus shooting, it matters. And how we think about our lives, how we think about everything, it really does affect how we live and even how we enter into relationship with God, with others, and with ourselves. So if you have any questions on this, if you relate to this at all, that would be great to hear. So I'm not the only one <laughs> who struggles with this exact issue. Um, love to hear your comments. Feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, give it a share. Um, you can My email is available at the end of the video and on my website. You can check that out as well. But thank you for watching and God bless you.